expect anyone. <clears throat> Welcome to Museum News. I'm your anchor, Maddie V. Hill. Today's report, Lee County is home to more rodeo champs than any other county in America. But we'll have more on that later. For now, let's jump on over to Erin Anderson and the Grossology exhibit. Thanks, Maddie. I'm here at the Western Heritage Museum in the South Gallery, and I'm going to have a little interview with one of our friends from Grossology, the impolite science of the human body. His name is Professor Nigel Knows It All. Professor, what are you doing here? Please, call me Nigel. All my friends do. I'm part of a wonderful exhibition called Grossology, the impolite science of the human body. It's based on the best-selling children's book. In the exhibit, we look at body functions people don't usually talk about. What exactly are you trying to teach in Grossology? Good question. Grossology educates children about their bodies in language they use, because most people don't talk about such things. Yet there is incredible science in Grossology. After all, it's important to realize that everyone, you, me, we all have bodies that make gross things. So is grossology just for children? Good heavens, no. We've looked at what children want to know about their bodies, but really, grossology is designed for people of all ages. Anybody who wants to learn a little bit more about their body. So just before we finish, Nigel, I have to ask you, what do you do in the grossology exhibit? Isn't it obvious? With a nose like mine, I've learned a few things about noses. I tell visitors all sorts of fun, scientific stuff about runny noses. Colds, viruses, uh, allergies, mucus. <laughs> oh, 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 I'd hope this wasn't going to happen. Uh, Oh, excuse me. Oh, oh, this really is embarrassing. I hope my mother isn't watching. Well, uh, uh, thank you for talking with me today. My pleasure. Grossology, the impolite science of the human body, is now at the Western Heritage Museum until May 10th. Back to you, Maddie. Thanks, Erin. Well, that's all for today. Join us next week for more museum news. Welcome to Museum News. I got distracted by Erin. Bye. Bye.